Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Millie. From Official London, London Theatre. Theatre. It's been a while since we've done that, it's hasn't it? It's been a long time. <laughs> it's feeling very strange. Today, we are heading to the Troubadour Wembley Park Theatre to see Sleepless, the musical. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but in the strangest possible way, it's just I feel like, I don't know, like I'm meant to be the person who meets. I just, just kind of know it. What about New York? What about Annie Reed? Annie Reed does not exist. Annie Reed is a lonely, possibly crazy, very far across the country person who we are not going to New York or anywhere else to meet. I mean, you've seen Fatal Attraction, right? Excuse me, are you Annie? I'm looking for my new mom. Did you have to fly first class? That's all I had. Huh, my flight had coach. I told you about excursion tickets, but he just won't listen. Hello. Sleepless in Seattle. It's the first time that we've been to an indoor theatre performance in a really, really long time. It's all going to be socially distanced, so we are going to take you with us. It starts at seven o'clock, so we better get a move on. See you there. See you at the theatre. We've arrived at Wembley Park Troubadour Theatre and as you can see the foyer is absolutely huge so there is loads of social distancing going on, hardly any queues which is great so if you want to get some merchandise you can behind me and we've got the bar over here and yeah we're looking forward, we're just going to go take our seats. We are sat in the theatre and we're very excited because we've been able to get some complimentary visors. Complimentary visors and you can wear them on the tube. We've got our programme and we are ready to go. Yeah, it feels good to be finally open. I think until you do previews, but until you finally open, you can't really just relax into the run. So it feels, it feels good. People hopefully will know we're here and can come and see us and they can see they can safely come to a theatre, sit down and enjoy a little romantic comedy musical for a bit of escapism. Turns out real life doesn't seem to agree. Well, our producers were really um, positive the whole time, so they really gave us a lot of comfort that we would be back at some point. So I think after a couple of weeks, we just accepted that, got on with it, spent loads of time with the kids, and. That was actually lovely. Um, and yeah, just embraced the lockdown and here we are. I think a lot of our cast mostly kept themselves happy and together because they were stalking Kimberly's kids on Instagram. <laughs> so thanks for that. <laughs> hey up, kids, Bobby and Cole. Out of my head, I'm letting Cupid take the reins instead. Now I Yeah, I mean it is different. Like the the narrative does follow the films but obviously in a musical you have a lot of artistic license for a, a few jazz hand numbers here and there and just break into a full-on musical routine and um, so I feel like it's just you know it's just meant to be an escapist rom-com musical that people can just sit and hopefully enjoy for a couple of hours and just forget any stress that they might have. Well, I, well, what a big question. Why is theatre important? Theatre is important because humans like telling each other stories. Stories are important because we like experiencing things, especially without um, experiencing things without peril. So we can watch a rom-com, and what we worry about is, is Sam going to meet Annie, and is Annie going to be herself, and they're going to fall in love? We don't worry about, you know, our paychecks and our healthcare. So theatre and telling each other stories is how we communicate in a safe environment. So we can explore dark things, but have a good time doing it and walk out humming a song that we like. So um, it's how we express ourselves. If we don't do that, then what on earth are we? Um, do you know what? It's just, it brings so much to, you know, to the country, like more than football, you know, and it's got a knock on effect to all the industries surrounding theatre restaurants, shops, so it, it's hugely important and so we just have to make these little steps to come back safely and find a way around it because you know we, we need the industry to survive, like it's such a huge part of England and obviously especially London with the West End. 
So we've just got out of seeing Sweet Bits the Musical and as you've just seen, we spoke to Jay and Kimberly who were lovely as always. It was a really, really great show and I am bursting with happiness to be back in the theatre again. To see a show that has so much emotion and laughter to it is kind of like the perfect mixture of what you need really during this time. Yeah, it was, it, it, it was very feel good at the end, it felt all warm inside. And it was really easy, the theatre is so big, the, all the ushers are lovely, um, the temperature checking, if you haven't had it done yet, it's really not scary and you can order your drinks through your phone so when you go and collect them at the interval there's no queue. Um, brilliant! So if you haven't already, get your tickets to Sleepless at Official London Theatre.